Families getting back to school, getting in that mode. Students returning to class next week in Hamburg are going to find several new safety procedures in place as the district takes what it calls progressive action to prevent intruders from harming kids. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has the story tonight. Teachers can't teach effectively and students can't really be engaged in learning unless they feel safe. That's why this school year it will be much harder for unauthorized people to get into Hamburg Elementary Schools because they will have to pass through two checkpoints before doors are unlocked. The first using an outside camera to check picture ID and then a second security check with a school employee. There may be some in the community that find some of these things inconvenient. What we ask people to remember is it's all about keeping people safe. The district is also using colored lanyards to quickly identify who's in the building, why they're in the building, how long we anticipate them being in the building. Staff recently completed new training for sheltering in place and lockdown procedures. But if an intruder does get in, Hamburg police will now be able to use a special key fob to get immediate access through any door. I don't want the police looking for an unlocked door. Mm -hmm. You know, I want the use the fob, get in, and go address whatever the situation is. Also new, the district is installing radios that allow all buildings to communicate directly, and it will connect to police and EMS. So we want to make sure that we're ready for any of the incidences that happen in our schools, not just the one that lives in our nightmares and that sometimes we see on TV. District nurses are now trained on dealing with mass casualties, and they have been supplied with specially equipped trauma bags. And while it's hoped the procedures are just a precaution, even administrators have received high-level training from FEMA about emergency incident command. You don't want to see something happen afterwards and go in after the fact because the kid might be dead or it could be too late. There's also new second shift hall monitors who will make sure people are not hiding in the buildings after hours or propping doors open. And Hamburg Central Schools are now researching door wedges that can be used to keep intruders from forcing their way into a classroom. At Riley 7, Eyewitness News.